Hello and welcome to the Practical Animal Channel. Today we are going to talk about accommodation for trained birds of prey. Birds of prey are trained and flown for purposes including falconry, pest control and for display purposes. In the UK hogs are flown from approximately September through to February. During this time the way that they are kept differs from the way they are kept for the rest of that year. So from September through to February during the day they are tethered out on a tethering lawn except for inclement weather. At night they are either free lofted which means they are kept loose in the aviary or they can be put into a weathering such as this one. Individual circumstances obviously will vary but what I've just described is a general rule regarding hawk accommodation. This is an artisanal homemade weathering that I received as a gift. I had to make some modifications to it. It came in the basic shape of a box with a bare branch as a perch. The branch was set too low, there was not enough tail clearance between the tip of the bird's tail and the floor of the weathering. So I had to raise up the perch, easy enough to do. The perch was also a bare branch unprotected by synthetic grass. So I had to add synthetic grass. This is to prevent unbuffed or pododermatitis. There was also no way of securing the bird. The person who gave me the, uh, a cord, the cord was blatantly unsuitable. Not that I mentioned this, but I had to add a an open screw like this which a browser around the shops was able to provide me with and I left it perpendicular to the leading edge of the weathering because I think that makes a nice finish. So the final finishing touch was these puppy training pads which I've covered the lower part of the weathering in for hygienic purposes. Those will be changed on a daily basis. So in summary the modifications I had to make were to put the synthetic grass on the perch, held down by cable ties, adding the puppy training pads and the eye at this open screw here. And the hole is kept off the ground using bricks to keep it clear of the ground and ground floor. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video and you found it was useful, for keepers of birds of prey, please share it with anybody you think might be interested. Before we wrap up, I'd like to share a thought with you. The thought is this. If you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button. And for more exclusive content on wildlife management, the countryside and the animal industry, please subscribe to my channel. I'm John Beaumont, thank you very much.